What's up guys, JD from Affinity Collective here, and if you're anything like me, you love to overclock your hardware. CPUs, GPUs, but what about monitors? Today we're going to be taking a closer look at how to overclock a monitor with both an AMD and NVIDIA GPU. When you overclock your monitor, what you're doing is dialing up the refresh rate of your panel. Increasing the refresh rate of your panel allows your monitor to display more frames per second, giving you those buttery smooth frames, especially when gaming. However, overclocking your monitor may void the warranty, so proceed at your own risk. To get started when using either an AMD or NVIDIA card, we'll download CRU, or Custom Resolution Utility, which is linked in the description below. CRU is a popular utility created by ToastDX. It allows you to create custom resolutions and change all sorts of options but we're interested in bumping up the hertz and keeping the automatic settings. On the right side, click on your monitor under Detailed Resolutions, then hit Edit. At the bottom of the menu will be a refresh rate. Change it to whatever you feel comfortable doing. It will change the other settings to go with it. Once you've done this, hit OK and hit OK again. Then run the restart.exe that corresponds to your operating system. If you're on a 32-bit, you choose the one that's labeled Restart and for 64-bit users, the one labeled Restart 64. If the display does not return within 10 seconds, you can hit F8 to disable the changes you made. You can check out these steps at the link in the description below. If you are using an NVIDIA GPU, you can also use EVGA's Precision X16 utility, linked in the description below. This can be downloaded from the website itself with an EVGA login or from Steam itself. It allows you to set custom resolutions and dial up your refresh rate along with band curve settings and other overclocking settings for your GPU. To access the pixel clock slider, hit the yellow arrow over twice and then slide accordingly until you reach your desired target refresh rate. Then hit OK. Keep dialing up the hertz until you see signs of sync errors. These come in the form of blinking lines, skipped frames, or other odd behavior. Once you hit this point, just back down 5 to 10 hertz and you should have a stable overclock for your monitor. Like any other overclock, make sure to run some tests. Try out your favorite games with settings you know worked before. If there are no problems, then you can lock in your overclock. We hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop us a like if you learned a little something today, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Let us know in the comments below what you pushed your monitor to. As always, we'll see you guys next time.